Hello. So it's been about eight days since I recorded my last video. Um, it was just very hectic week. I moved to a new apartment. I was finishing up um, a summer class that I was teaching. So there was just a lot going on and, and really no time to dedicate to YouTube. Um, but I'm back. My desk isn't entirely set up yet, um, but hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Um, in regards to news and politics specifically, I haven't seen too many like groundbreaking um, or controversial stories as of late. Um, I'm sure that will change, but things to, seem to have taken a lull ever since Joe Biden dropped out and Kamala Harris stepped in. Um, but I did find a really interesting psychology article, which is sort of tangentially related to politics. So I thought I would share th some of this with you and talk about it. Uh, this is from Sci SciPost. New research uncovers stereotype differences between agnostics and atheists. Agnosticism and atheism are often characterized in one non-religious group in research, despite there being distinct beliefs, despite there being distinct belief systems. New research published in Psychology of Religion and Spirituality finds that people do not do have distinct stereotypes that differentiate agnosticism and atheism from each other and from Christianity. Prejudice against the non-religious can exist for many reasons. One explanation is the moral deficiency hypothesis, where religious people are stereotypically assumed. Non-religious people are more likely to act immorally. Another explanation is symbolic threat, where religious people view atheism and agnosticism as a threat to the societal American norm of religiosity. Although research has cons consistently categorized like, atheists and agnostics into one religious category, there are some deviations between these groups that could be relevant for stereotyping. In study one, researchers were interested in how Americans differentiate stere differentially stereotype agnostics, atheists, and Christians. Um, researchers recruited a final sample of 118 U.S. adult residents from Air Amazon Mechanical Turk, an online platform. Um, only 56% of participants in the def definition generated conditions correctly defined agnosticism. Participants indicated that atheists are generally viewed as more evil, immoral, intolerant, pushy, rude, and satanic than agnostics. In contrast, agnostics were thought to be viewed as more confused, indecisive, questioning, cowardly, kind, curious, neutral, and scientific than atheists, wrote the researchers. Atheists but ag not agnostics were reported to be morally worse, meaner, and colder than Christians. Study 2 sought to provide stronger support for the findings of Study 1. The research has also included a measure of belief in God to examine whether this impacts how people stereotype the different religious groups. Results show that atheists were rated less moral, trustworthy, and safe compared to agnostics who were, related, who were rated lower on these traits compared to Protestants, supporting the moral deficiency hypothesis. Results also show that agnostics were rated more trustworthy than atheists, but less trustworthy than Protestants, providing support for the symbolic threat hypothesis. Furthermore, pr Protestants were rated as older, more loyal, more patriotic, and more predictable than both atheists and agnostics. Results also show that agnostics are seen as less decisive than atheists and Protestants, but more tolerant than atheists. Agnostics are related as equally brave, predict predictable, and loyal as atheists, which contradicted the dogmatic recalcitrance hypothesis. So, I mean, I think this is just an interesting article. It was published in 2022, so a couple years back. Um, but it's interesting because for the longest time, I think, um, non-religious people in the United States have been viewed very negatively. So it's interesting to see the... Um, how the stereotypes sort of converge and diverge when we start, um, you know, specifying what kind of non-believer you are. Um, and I'm not surprised <laughs> agnostics are viewed as, you know, more tolerant and less pushy than atheists. Um, and it's also interesting they're viewed as less immoral because atheists have often been viewed as, as very immoral people. Um, but the idea that, you know, you need a religion, you need belief in a 
being that's watching over you um, and like an eternal punishment or internal reward to be uh, moral. Um, so, you know, atheists don't have that restraint. So, the, you know, conclu the, the conclusion is atheists, you know, kind of lack a moral compass. Um, I mean, I think this is changing, though. Like, I, I think the n not uh, irreligious people are, like, um, an ever-increasing group in America. I think they're, like, the largest growing religious group right now. So many, many people are becoming disenfranchised with organized religion. Um, many people, many more people are defining themselves as agnostics, atheists, you know, even maybe spiritual or, or deistic. Um, so for that reason, because, you know, they're increasing in population, and um, I'm hoping this these negative stereotypes towards um, non-believers and particularly atheists will improve over time as more and more people become atheists and agnostics and so forth. Because uh, atheists are like, again, they're some of the most hated people in this country. Um, they're discriminated against. They, um, they're just viewed as awful, awful, awful people. <laughs> But, you know, atheists can be just as moral as religious people. Um, and, in fact, many atheists, I would say, are more moral than a handful of religious people. I mean, there's a saying, I don't remember who said it, but... Um, people can, there are people who can do good things without religion. Or, you know, it's something like good people can... Do, uh, do good things without religion, but good people can't do bad things without religion. Um, or I, to put it another way, like religion makes good people do bad things, uh, which I think is very much true. <laughs> um, you can get away with a lot if you're convinced that your particular religious dogma is the one and only truth. Um, and you can get away with a lot if you think that the supreme being who created the universe is on your side. Um, so, again, not a newsy story, really, um, but something worth thinking about. Um, you know, it's important for, I think, us to think about the prejudices that we do have so we can evaluate them and think, are they, you know, reasonable prejudices, are they not? Um, and I, I think the, you know, prejudice against atheists is very much an irrational uh, and incorrect prejudice. Um, you know, we need to be better to atheists. We need to be more inclusive to atheists. Um, we need to recognize that, you know, you don't need a religious outlook on the world to uh, be a moral actor. Um, and Agnostics too, right? Agnostics can um, be as moral as religious people. Um, and you know, if you're again, if you're an atheist, agnostic, a deist, um, you know, I'm on your side. <laughs> I support you. I see you. I hear you, and I want you to be uh, a welcome member of our community. <laughs>